started when the Indians used to dig for their clay for their pottery. And they found water. And then when the and then when the uh, college started, they dug clay for their right. pottery class. It's called double adobe for a reason. Yeah. It's not single adobe. It's double adobe. Yeah. yeah <laughs> so then when they stopped digging, they uh, filled it in with water. And right. Right. I still add to it. I've been coming to this lake for 30 years. This pond. There's bass and sunfish and crappie and catfish in here and bullfrogs. At night, it is cacophony. You wanna get some rana loca? See any activity yesterday afternoon? Oh my God. Craziness? 200, 300. Oh really? Have yeah. They, have they still got a way to get up in there? I have no idea, because I was watching them and I couldn't see it, you know? And that, that bedroom had about 15 of it, it and then I phoned it and that stopped. Stop you said, yeah, yeah. And a, a few of them got in, but I figure it was the cracks in the window because yeah, those are old right. windows. Yeah. Uh, I want to give this a minute. Um, I wanted to warm up just a little bit. Okay. Really like to see activity. We're not going to be uh, be too adventuresome with these bees because they're in this old stump here and. She has, this is an Airbnb for the bird, the birder population because whitewater draws right over here, which is a major thoroughfare for birds. And this stump is full of bees here, so we're going to make quick, make quick work of it just because it's too, too close here. Okay. Yeah, these guys, oh, look at this thing, it's full. That is completely full. You see it, honey? Isn't that amazing? See, now these bees are wondering what's going on. These are aggressive bees. They haven't come pouring out yet, so. But they're, I mean, they're thinking about it. Yeah. And there's more. We got three entrances at least, right? One, two, three. Yeah, and they're they're aggressive. Excuse me. No. This is working out well. <laughs> I need you to move. <laughs> <laughs> you're making shadows. That ain't all. You're making bubbles the way that was going. You guys want to back a little bit? Look at them coming out of here. Holy oh, yeah. shit. Big cockroachy too. This thing is completely full of comb. All right, well, let's go ahead and go around and uh, look at that whole situation. Those ones in that stump had the potential to be really, really a disaster. Scout bees will leave, and if they're not going to live there, they'll be gone the next day. You will not have any activity. If they move in, then, of course, four days later, you still have activity. You have a hive. So she had a fresh hive here. Probably came from that stump. Or the neighbors. It's treated anyway, that's for sure. The homeowner here is way too familiar with these bees. She has them every few years and has been attacked and all that shit. So, so we're going to make it safe. So she has a big party this weekend that we are invited to. There we go. Yeah, well, that's a nice hole. Oh yeah, there's bees there. Nothing alive though, not yet. Soak up the steel wool and the foam. A pheromone, and that will really do the trick on it. Time in the Rockies. Yeah, there it is. I want to see if there's any more dead bees. There we go. It's actually looking pretty good. Well, that's better than having them fly around, that's for sure. We don't use these on every job because every job does not require them. But this one turned out to need it. So we're going to spread this out. So the bees coming back from the field think they have to go in there to get up there. See where that one went in? Yep. See where it going in? It's underneath the uh, dirt there. All right. Oh my God. What? Someone stepped on a snake. Oh, I just came one one inch away from getting bit. Where is it? Oh, okay. Come here. And look right in the middle of that green patch. Oh yeah. My foot was right over her when I saw her, and I pulled back, and um, almost gave me a heart attack. We just found a little flower out here. 
and it happens. So you're going to do the snake before the bees? Correct. Because the snake will go away, the bees won't. You never know what you're going to get into. <laughs> Boy, is that the truth, huh? Have any problems? We have our hunting license. Yeah, are you going to bring your gun? I'm just going to use a shovel cutter set off. Okay. I don't want to make a lot of noise. Oh, God, did they have me going. Shovel? Um, Do I need to hold anything for you? So I'm going to wake her up first. Do that a little bit more. And there are her fangs. So. Can I get up close now? You can smell the snake piss. She's peeing, not yet. Now they can still. Bite? Yep, yeah, the head can still bite. So, just gonna make sure that that's off completely. And not pick it up, because those fangs are still deadly. Many a person has gotten bit by these things long after the. Damn it! There we go. There. Now the head. Jesus! Tough skin. There we go. Now that head, we're going to toss out. Now, this is a beauty. And of course, just from auto reflex, it can still move for a while. And they do pee. So that is a big ass rattlesnake, everyone. Not too big, but she's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rattles. So in theory, she's seven years old. I don't know if that means anything or not, but she's about, what, three feet long? And I honestly do not know if this is a Mojave or not. Mojaves are much, much more dangerous than Diamondbacks because they will actually chase you. But this would have been so dangerous for the homeowner. One step and you're dead. It takes about 500 bee stings to equal a bite from a snake like this that's how much venom is in 500 bee stings and an average hive has 50,000 bees in it so that is a buttload of snakes you're dealing with every time so these guys aren't that big of a deal for me unless you almost step on them it's like you know piddle in the pants type of deal but uh so she was beauty and so we'll just put her in the truck she's not really big enough to make chili out of but we'll get her out of here so sorry about that girl, but you just ended up in the wrong place at the wrong time. Like I always tell people with the bees, it's like snakes. It's okay if they live out there. Can't have them in your yard. Can't have them anywhere near. And uh, just too deadly. So we're gonna put her in the truck and then go deal with the real danger. <laughs> yeah, right. Another one. Yet another major danger. Holy crap, oh my God. There's one of those weird metal javelina. Those are so dangerous out here. Mainly when you've been drinking and step on them. Oh my god. I could have bit the big one right there by stepping on that damn thing. Usually, if you're walking in a line like you're behind me or I'm behind you walking, right. hiking, uh -huh. it's usually the second person that gets bit. Because the first person wakes them up. Yep. I haven't had any carn with a snake like that for a while. That was kind of fun. So this is one of the endangered bumblebees. And we're going to set let her go outside. There she is. Hopefully, Take her outside and save her life. These things are our suits, and they can sting over and over again. So what I'm going to try to do, because she's getting really warm, there's no lava. And we got her. All right, now we can take our bumblebee outside. Now, believe it or not, this is the most dangerous part of this operation. I don't think you should let her out with your net off. Yeah, that's what I was just saying. Getting her bearing. See how she's flying around? Yes. Kind of like circles, figuring out where the hell she is. Okay, so this snake that we got yesterday is apparently a Mojave because I've been told that uh, the bands here, if it's a diamondback, the bands are equal in width. If it's a Mojave, the white are thicker. So this is these are white are obviously thicker on this guy for the most part. So looks like we have a Mojave here, which is a completely different venom very very toxic to people so we're lucky we didn't uh, get killed they usually have a green tint to them but of course this one's been dead for 24 hours so we don't know about that but that is supposedly how we tell 
we'll uh, do a little research and uh, and make sure that that might be the case. So there you have it, snake bill. Watch the snake. You think? Like mumble me.